Today we're going to work on finding um, the surface area of this prism and they want us to use the net in order to do that which basically means they're going to pretend like we could just kind of cut along these lines and fold this prism out um, so it was just a, a 1D shape flat like this. Here we go. So they've done that. They folded the prism out and um, you can see that they've given you some measurements along the way. So today we're going to work on finding the surface area. They give us that the surface area um, is the sum of the lateral area, which we're calling pH, and the area of the two bases, which is 2B. So surface area equals pH plus 2B. Um, notice that each of the six sides of the prism is a rectangle. First find the area of each base we know that the area is uh, length times width. So when we do that, 12 times 12 times 4.5, 12 times 4.5, 12 times 4.5 is 54, I believe. I don't have a calculator with me, but hopefully that's correct. So that's given us the area of the bases. Now you need to use your calculator to do this. And remember order of operations. So we need to do all of the multiplication first. So using your calculator, you need to take 12 times 31. You need to take 4.5 times 31. And then you're plugging in that 12 times 31, 4.5 times 31. And you're adding it all together. And when you add it all together, I believe you get 1,023. The mistake that I made the first time I worked through this problem is I just started working my calculator going across and then remembered you need to do order of operations, which means you need to multiply first. So do all your multiplications here and then add your products to get 1,023. And then finally, to find the surface area, we have to plug in our numbers. So 2 times 54, 2 times 54 is 108 and you're going to add 108 to 1,023, and when you did that, you get 1,131. And that is how you solve the surface area of the prism using the net.